Today broadcast. God bless you. This message is coming on your way today because you are the right person God wants to send this message to. And as you are hearing the message, as you are hearing this message, forward this message to many of your friends. Remember, you are doing it to save lives. Please help me to touch the subscribe button or click to the follow button. Depends on the platform you are watching me right now. So you will be receiving all my updates. God bless you. Today we are going to talk about sacrifice. Do you understand that sacrifice is very, very important? A man that lacks the understanding of sacrifice will live a miserable life all the days of his life. A man that did not understand the secret of sacrifice will pray and fast and think that God is not hearing his or her prayers. Because God created the world and he put his, himself or his power in, in, in principle. God put himself in principle. In serving God, he has two areas. Number one area is the person of Jesus. And number two area is the principle of Jesus. The person of Jesus is for eternal life, is for eternity. The person of Jesus is salvation side. And the principle of Jesus is the, the, the laws we will keep in order to receive one thing or the other we need depend the area of our desire result so mistake that a lot of christians are making these days is because they think that when they operate on the person of jesus that is the area of salvation when they are born again when they are living a sin free life when they are ready for heaven they think that because they are born again because they are children of god that they will enjoy the blessings of god on earth and they ended up being frustrated. At the end, they are disappointed because they did not understand that in following God has two areas. The person of Jesus, that is eternal life, that is salvation. And after salvation, the principle of Jesus, that is do and don't of the scripture. Do and don't of the scripture is the principle of Jesus. So the area of uh, sacrifice is very, very important area. Don't be discouraged to sacrifice as long as you are sacrificing it based on your love for God and your faith in God as I told you sacrifice is something that is very very important God began to demonstrate it through Abraham the Lord said to Abraham give me your only son Isaac whom thou lovest and this Abraham decided to offer Isaac to God and the God said to Abraham now I know you fear at me Amen. Now I know you fear at me. The Lord said, therefore, in blessing, I will bless you. A, a, a multiplying, I will multiply your seed. So through the sacrifice, God entered into covenant of blessing with Abraham. We also see it in the life of Isaac, the son of Abraham. The Bible said there was a farmer in the land. People were dying. A lot of people were dying. A lot of things. People were running away from the land. And when Isaac wanted to join them, the Lord said to Isaac, don't go anywhere. Remain in this place that people are dying. Remain in this place that, are, that is hung, there, there is hunger. People are running away. And the Bible said that Isaac remained there. But Isaac went ahead and sowed. And he harvested the same year. Whose harvest? That was the year that Isaac became so wealthy, so blessed by God because he operated on the principle of Jesus, the principle of sowing and reaping. And according to the word of God, the Lord said in the book of Genesis, the Lord said that as earth remained, seed time and harvest will never cease. Seed time and harvest will never cease. The book of Genesis chapter 8 verse 22. So we must understand the laws of sacrifice. Another area of sacrifice was the one we see in God or the one we saw in God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever that believeth in him will not perish but have everlasting life. God was desiring what to, how, how he will have many children because that time Jesus was the only son of God. 
That is why Bible said that he gave his only son then, but now not the only son. But then Jesus was the only son of God. And in order for God to have harvest of sons, in order for God to have harvest of children, God decided to give that one child he had. Because Bible said that if a corn of wheat remaineth alone, if he refused to die, he will it will remain alone. But when this corn of seed die and germinate, it will be a much fruit. And that was the law or the principle that God subscribed to. He have to allow his son Jesus to die on the cross so that he will end up having many sons and daughters. He will have many children, not only son anymore. That is to tell us, you know, God is a giver. That is why he instructed us to give. God operated in the law of sowing and reaping, the law of sacrifice. Sacrifice is very, very important. When you pray, you didn't get anything. You fast, you didn't get anything. Try to engage sacrifice. If you have prayed and have fasted, if you have done everything you know you could do and there is no harvest, there is no return, there is nothing in return, engage in the mystery of sacrifice. Maybe sacrifice is what remain. Somebody can say, what is this sacrifice all about? Because when we sacrifice something, it makes us to release our faith. Imagine when you give something out from you, you can easily release your faith by giving something out more than only when you pray and fast. That is why when you add sacrifice to your fasting and to your prayer, your faith will become authentic, your faith will be released. And the Bible said that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Look at Solomon. The Bible made us, made us to understand about the secret of Solomon. The Bible said that Solomon gave to God. On that day, Solomon went to give you. The Bible said that when Solomon went there, he offered 1,000 bullock. The Bible did not tell us he prayed, which I know he may pray, he may fast. But the Bible didn't tell us that. The Bible made us to understand the area that yielded a result. Or harvest for Solomon. Bible said that he gave a bountiful harvest unto God, a bountiful sacrifice. That is to say, he gave a one thousand bullock to God Almighty as a sacrifice. And that night, the Lord appeared to Solomon and said, "What will I do for you?" Because sacrifice speaks to God. Sacrifice is a prayer. Sacrifice to, speaks to God. Any man that lacks understanding of sacrifice will live a miserable life. Every child of God that lack understanding of sacrifice will live a defeated life. Maybe as you are watching this message now, you never engage on sacrifice. You don't know what sacrifice is all about. Maybe in the kingdom of God, you sacrifice nothing. In the church where you are going, you give it nothing for the work of God to move forward. It may be the reason why you are experiencing a hardship or dryness in one area or the other. Because sacrifice helps to open your heaven. Sacrifice connects you to God engage in that sacrifice remember that any sacrifice you will give will be the one that comes from your heart and the one the lord prompted you to give not the one someone told you to give but it will be the one that prompted out of your heart or the one the lord instructed that you should give maybe the one someone said to you the lord laid it in my heart to tell you this consider those things before you embark on it Consider those things. When you receive a message in that area, the Lord says you should give this, the Lord says you should give that. Don't reject it, but consider it. Just go to God in prayer. Ask the Lord whether the Lord is the one that gives that instruction. But anytime you engage on sacrifice, you are told that you are coming to encounter that favor that is beyond you. The favor that is beyond you. There is, no, there is nothing that can break course on earth like sacrifice. Sacrifice breaks every cause. It breaks any cause. All these things they say, familiar cause, ancestral cause, all these things they say, forty foundation, all these things they say, power that don't want you to move forward, all these things that say that the enemy is holding you, all these things that say that the enemy don't want you to prosper, they say that they, they, they tie your destiny here, they tie your life the other side, they tie your business. Anytime you engage on sacrifice, you see how powerful God is. 
and God is waiting for you today on that area of sacrifice. Find a place where the name of the Lord is called and find something you can do in the name of the Lord for the kingdom of God's sake. And you go there and engage on that sacrifice and believe God that you will get the result. You will get the result you need. Find where God is called. Find a place they call the name of the Lord. They mention the name of the Lord. That place God place his name in spirit and in truth. And find something you can do for the kingdom of God. Find something you can do for God. And also find something you can do for humanity. Something you can do for poor people around you. It is also sacrifice. Helping the needy is a sacrifice. Helping the less privileged is a sacrifice. Feeding the hungry is a sacrifice. Find something you can do for God and to humanity. And you will unlock the blessings of God. You will unlock the favor of God. That is what God laid in my heart to tell you today. Forward this message to as many as you can. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also click the, the follow button if you are watching from Facebook. May the blessings of God be with you. May the glory of God rest upon you. I pray for you today that the favor and the mercy will speak in your life. All the days of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the peace of God. And the God of peace be with you. See you next time. And bye.